So in this video, I'm going to show you how to connect to the Raspberry Pi and GoPi Go via SSH. SSH is a way to just log into your Raspberry Pi from another computer and be able to <clears throat> use the command line. So at this point, we assume that we've got the robot built. Um, <clears throat> so the GoPi Go is assembled. The, uh, the <clears throat> GoPi Go is powered up. And we're using the Dexter Industries uh, SD card. We've either uh, burned the image ourselves or we've ordered one directly from uh, Dexter Industries. So now that we're turned on, you can see that the power light is on when we turn it on. Uh, we're ready to connect to it and see what's going on inside the Raspberry Pi. So I'm going to choose option two here, connecting with the Ethernet cable. Now, <clears throat> doing this on the Mac and doing this on the PC are very similar. Um, there are a couple of hardware tools that you need to get started. I've got a um, Mac uh, Ethernet adapter to USB because I'm using a MacBook Air. If your Mac has a uh, Ethernet port, then you don't need that. I've got an Ethernet cable, which you can also get from Dexter Industries. And so, just going to put these together. Simply plug in the USB, and then on the front of my Go Pi Go. I'm going to connect the Ethernet. And if the power's on and everything's connected up, I'll see these two communication lights come on. That means that I'm talking between the Mac and the, the uh, Go Pi Go. So I see the two communication lights are on, the power's on, we're hooked up via uh, Ethernet here. Uh, let's hop on and see if we can get on via SSH. When I've got the Raspberry Pi is connected to the uh, to the computer over Ethernet and I want to check to make sure that they're actually talking to each other so I'm going to go up and click on the uh, network settings. I want to open network preferences and that will show me a couple of different ways that my network is set up. I've got Wi-Fi and I'm connected to a local Wi-Fi network but I'm more interested in this USB Ethernet since that's the way I'm connecting to the Raspberry Pi. So I click on that and I'll notice that my um, I've got a status connected. Now if you don't see this, make sure that you're using DHCP. Just using DHCP, not the manual address or using boot P or any of the other options. Um, and that should set it up. So now that we're, we know we're connected, we'll double check and make sure that the com two computers are talking. I'm going to open up Terminal. You can find Terminal under Launchpad if you just go to Launchpad and start typing in Terminal. I'll pull, pull up a Terminal for you. And let's open this up so you can see it a little bit better. So the Raspberry Pi has the address. You can either type it in via this IP address, the 169.254, and we can ping it that way. But what we're going to do is ping, which means we're going to send a signal to the Raspberry Pi, and hopefully if they're connected over the same network, it'll send a signal back, and we'll know that we're connected. So the easiest way to do this is to go ahead and type ping raspberry pi dot local. And raspberry pi dot local is the, the substitute for the IP address. So that says the Mac that we're working on or the PC that we're working on is going to look for the Raspberry Pi, which listens for that uh, name. All right, great. So I'm getting a great response there. You can see that we're getting back, we're pinging, we're getting back relatively quickly um, a reply from a Raspberry Pi. This is like sort of like Marco Polo, but over Ethernet. So my computer is saying Marco and the Raspberry Pi is saying Polo. So let's stop that. You can stop it with just typing control C and that interrupts the ping. And just to double check, let's see, I gotta, this is the IP address though of the Mac. So um, not really important, but nice to know. And then this is the IP address of the Raspberry Pi. Also not really important if we're using a Mac um, because we've got Google, uh, or sorry, we've got um, Apple Bonjour on it, which is gonna, which is allowing us to use this Raspberry Pi local name. So now that we know that we're connected and when they're talking and our Marcos and Polos are done, we're gonna go ahead and SSH into it. And the command for that is just SSH, and then 
we're going to log in under the name Pi, and then we're going to log in under this Raspberry Pi .local, which is going to be we're going to we're going to log in to the machine Raspberry Pi .local, Raspberry Pi .local. So what does this mean? It means we're going to open up SSH under the name Pi on the machine Raspberry Pi .local. Let's see if I type that in right, should get a response from it. Great. So I added the RSA key, and now it's asking for a password. And the default password is raspberry, all lowercase. So that's R-A-S-P-B-E-R-Y, same way we spelled it right here. And we're in. And we know we're in because we're logged in as Raspberry Pi, and we're logged in this little tilde means we're at home. And we can type in ls and see a list of the files. And these are just some files that I added to my local Raspberry Pi. I'm going to go ahead and change directories to the desktop. And on the desktop, you should see if you're using the Dexter Industries image, if we list the files with the command ls again, we'll see a bunch of um, different files that are on there, including directories. And we're interested in the GoPyGo. So we'll go to cd GoPyGo. And let's list those. And we've got a bunch of stuff here. Let's go to software. And then if we cd to software, we'll see that we've got both Python and Scratch ready to go, and we'll cd to Python. And I'll list again, and we can see the basic test all.py. So if I want to run this and just test my hardware now that I've got it all going, I'll type in sudo python basic underscore test underscore all.py. What we're doing is running this program here, this basic test all.py. We're running it with sudo because we run all of our Python commands that use the Raspberry Pi or that use the GoPyGo um, with sudo to to tell the computer that we're an administrator. We're running Python, and then this is the name of the program that we're running. And there we go. We can start turning on LEDs. Do all sorts of stuff. That's it. We can shut down. We want to do something else with sudo halt. So one last thing, if you're using a Mac, then this is pretty straightforward. You do everything exactly the same. If you're using a PC, you need to take one more step before you hook up the Ethernet cable. Um, and you'll want to install Bonjour. So Bonjour comes installed already on a Mac, but for a PC, uh, you'll need to download it from Apple. And it's it's free, and it's really easy to to get up and get installed. And that's what allows you to go from an IP address that looks like 192.168.something.something .something .something to just the name raspberrypi.local. You also want to download a program called PuTTY. And so PuTTY is like the SSH command line. Apple doesn't come with, or uh, a Mac does not come with, try one more time, a PC does not come with a terminal program pre-installed. So once you download that, you can fire up Putty and it looks just like this. You type in the host name and the, you have to specify the port, which is 22. And then you'll get a dialog and you'll have something that looks exactly like the terminal that we saw for the Mac. Just uh, it's just using a different piece of software. Uh, you'll see everything you saw on the Raspberry Pi that you saw from the Mac. You'll see it also in the, um, in the, in the PC. And that's pretty much the only difference.